the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. In this video, we're going to talk about altcoins okay specifically the ai altcoins some of which we have covered on the channel already which i'm the most bullish on um because the bitcoin halving is literally uh less than 17 days away okay at 16 days and almost a full day okay um and historically uh bitcoin does pull back after the halving and altcoins continue to run um after the halving Okay, they outperform Bitcoin uh, after the halving. Um, the only thing we haven't seen before is that Bitcoin has made a new all-time high before the actual halving. That doesn't normally happen. Um, but despite that, I still see Bitcoin um, performing the way it usually does in terms of what happens after the halving. Probably a pullback. Um, it may do the complete opposite. It may just continue going, right? But that's good for everyone anyway, right? But... Um, you know, I do see Bitcoin pulling back some of the do uh, some of the dominance, the, the dominance, uh, the dominance falling, and the altcoin dominance rising. Okay, guys, uh, therefore seeing higher prices in our altcoins, uh, specifically in the strongest narratives like AI and DPIN. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna cover some of the uh, just a few of the projects that I'm the most bullish on um, in AI. Um, Starting with Blender Network, okay, guys. So, we talked about Blender um, uh, last week, okay, guys. And since then, we saw a massive increase in price. It actually went uh, to approximately $4.40. So, very bullish. And I did explain that this hasn't even gone parabolic yet. We are seeing a very nice uptrend in Blender. And we are seeing a slight pullback at the moment, okay, guys. So, if you were looking for an entry on, on, on Blender, okay uh dca because in the bull run you dca right um uh, and you double down on the winners okay i'm gonna elaborate on that a little bit more um in a short while okay but um it's down 33 percent from its previous all-time high um three days ago on the 31st of march uh, but this is showing very good signs of strength people are buying the dips as you can see with all of these wicks and pumps over here people are buying the dips okay so you know, in my opinion, Blender is sitting very strong. 132 million market cap is still a baby, in my opinion, right? This has a lot more to offer. With 12,000 holders, uh, the community is growing very fast. Uh, the market cap is very low. Um, hence why I see a lot more upside in this particular token, because it's a very strong project. Um, we talked about the Blender box, okay? Uh, the blender box obviously this is a deep in project okay so the blender box is going to allow you to run a node from your home on blender therefore supporting the network making it stronger but you get some rewards out of that okay guys and the blender box is actually in development okay so we actually see them developing the blender box it's in prototype uh, it's at a prototype stage right by the looks of it um but it's good to be a part of the journey, okay? To see things happening in real time. This gives me uh, the early vibes of like Helium, okay? HNT, which is also a deep in project, uh, which ran into the billions and probably, you know, is it, still in almost in the billions and will will perform very well. Uh, Blender is, like I compare this to Helium, okay? I, I, I like this project up to that level. I see a lot more upside in it. Um, they do have some comparisons um, performance comparisons, right, to, uh, you know, Render, okay, in my previous video, I talked about Render being the next, bl uh, or Blender being the next Render, um, Tau, Bitenzel, a cash network, so, you know, they're not comparing themselves to some of these smaller projects, um, they're comparing themselves to the big projects, okay, guys, so in terms of being a competitor, when you look at the market caps for all of these projects, which are in the billions, um, I'm not sure what the market cap for a cash network is, but I know renders in the billions, Tau, Bitenzo is in the billions, okay? Um, do we see Blender going into the billions? That's the question. And, and you know, if you're going to be a compare of those markets, right? Um, in my opinion, it's highly probable that they will do that, obviously, but that's my bias because I am bullish on this project. But sitting at 132 million, 
Okay, guys, I see this easily going to the 1.3 billion, which is a 10x from here, and um, potentially even further than that. Okay, guys. So super bullish on Blender. All right, guys. Um, and OPSEC is, of course, you guys, if you've been following the channel, you know that I'm bullish on OPSEC, right? So OPSEC is uh, doing really well. Okay, we're seeing a lot more people talking about OPSEC. I mean, Elio Trades was talking about OPSEC. You know, these Elio Trades, Alex Becker, these are gamers, right? These are guys that in the previous bull runs, they were strictly gaming. Okay, so now they're gaming and AI. Um, and they have huge followings, huge influence, and they're bullish on OPSEC. Just like I'm bullish on OPSEC. Um, and OPSEC is sitting at 241 million in market cap. Okay, but look at the strength though. Look at the strength. It's gone parabolic, of course, but look at the strength. Now, I said in a previous video, we're looking at, you know, we're just waiting for it to do that next leg. Okay, guys. People have been talking about Destra, D-Sync. I talked about Destra also. Um, Destra is a very strong project. It's a, it's a strong AI project, but I explained I'm not in Destra network. I was waiting for a dip or an opportunity to get into Destra potentially, right? But it's not giving that opportunity. And the truth is like, why would I buy Destra network at 435 million, almost a half a billion in market cap when it's gone parabolic? I'm not chasing a pump, right? Um, but why would I buy something like Opsec when you can double down on some, uh, sorry, why would I buy something like, like D-Sync, Destra, where you can double down on something like Opsec, right? Because if you look at the chart as well, um, Opsec is in this area, right? Okay, we are here on Opsec, okay? And that's what I project to see happening with Opsec, okay, guys? More upside, Okay, and uh, we could even potentially see that crazy, you know, parabolic blast off, which we you've seen in desync. Okay, guys, and normally there's a catalyst for that, um, which I believe that the catalyst for that in OPSEC, right, is staking. Okay, because staking is going live, and they basically posted this 17 hours ago with our staking audit well underway we're through to unveil our initial node rewards model for beta release and claim functionality uh node distribution will be determined by a formula that takes into account both the current node price and percentage of optic tokens states in the user's wallet relative to the total optic balance and they're going to be uh introducing various more incentives okay guys so you can read that in your own time obviously it does explain a little bit more all right guys but ultimately this is what we've got to look forward to with opsec as uh, staking rewards and obviously what staking does is it enables people to lock up their tokens therefore removing a bunch of tokens from circulation right because 100 percent of the supply is circulating okay he's got great tokenomics but this will remove tokens from circulation. I'm not sure if there's any lockup periods, okay, guys. But ultimately, uh, we do see strong holders on OPSEC. And if you are holding it, it probably makes sense to stake some. Maybe hold some liquid just in case it goes absolutely crazy. That's if there's a lockup period. If there's no lockup period, you can stake, withdraw, or whatever, right? Um, but I think that that will be a catalyst once staking goes live. For us to see, not only, obviously coins being removed out of circulation with people buying tokens in order to stake them so we should see a lot more upside with opsec in the very short term um you know and if you see my previous videos on opsec i'm super bullish on this project it's got a lot going for it right um other updates uh we could talk about is they're sponsoring token 2049 okay um They've recently visited Google's HQ and they've been officially invited to attend Google Cloud 2024, okay, in Mandalay Bay. Um, so, not only that, they're going to be doing node airdrops as well. So, you know, there's a lot going for this project. And again, we're talking about the, the catalyst for more upside. Okay, not only do we see it just regularly uptrending, right? 
we have bullish things in the pipeline which could take this uh, a lot further as well, guys. Other things like we talked about the futures AI pre-sell. Um, you know, you're going to be able to trade futures and things like that of OPSEC and so on. Um, if you didn't see my video on this pre-sell, I would go and check it out. Okay, guys. Um, they've raised 108 Ethereum. There's literally five hours and 45 minutes left on this pre-sell. So, you know, go and take advantage of that. Uh, go and check out my video on the Futures AI pre-sell. But I'm bullish on OPSEC. I'm bullish on Blender. And we are literally 16, 17 days away from the halving. All right, guys. Going back to Blender as well. Like, Blender is in... Where are we on Blender? Okay, this is where we are on Blender. Okay, right. This is where Opsic. This is where we are on Blender, um, in comparison to Opsic. Okay, guys. In my opinion, right. Okay, this is that's where we are, right. And you know, if I, if I look at the chart for Blender, right. This is basically what I see. Like I see us ranging, you know, ranging. And just creeping up and going much higher before maybe even a huge parabolic leg on Blender as well. So that's why I'm bullish on these two particular AI projects. And, you know, I'm not chasing the pump on other ones that are very strong, very good projects. Okay, guys, but, you know, I'd rather, uh, you know, double down on the ones that I have the highest conviction on. That I got the best entries on. And I'll give you an entry right now, basically. Okay, guys. So, you know, that's basically my thoughts. Um, that's really all I've got for you in this video. I just wanted to make that update video, give you some of, you know, my thought process behind these two particular projects. Um, if you were looking for entries on these, remember, it's not financial advice, but buying the dips on these type of strong performing projects are, you know, it's good meta. Okay, guys. It's a good, it's a great strategy. Um, if you look at whale wallets, uh, you know a lot of them are loading up on Blender. They're loading up on Opsec. Again, you have your LEO trade, your Alex Becker, and all that publicly um, shilling Opsec at this stage. I think it's a short while before we see a lot, a lot of the bigger influencers also, you know, covering Blender Network. All right, guys. So it's about front running that hype. And, um, you know, when retail comes into the market, we're going to see them obviously gravitate towards meme coins, gaming, and AI. Okay, guys. Maybe not so much D-Pin, um, but AI and D-Pin come together in my opinion. But, you know, D-Pin, obviously that's, you know, we, we're going to see the more sensible people. <laughs> you know, you don't need to... Or mind you, actually, D-Pin... People are always attracted by shiny objects, okay, guys? So, if you think about, like, Xbox or PlayStation, you know, when it comes to computers, you know, like a Blender box or an OpSec CloudSec, um, let's not forget that OpSec has the the CloudSec uh, device. Um, if we can find it on here. Because, um, obviously, OpSec is a deep in project as well. And a layer one, okay? Um... So they're both layer ones. And ultimately, I'm bullish on layer ones as well. Okay, guys. Uh, like, who's not bullish on layer ones? All right, guys. So I'm just looking for the, you know, the, the OPSEC device. Here it is. But um, yeah, that's really what I've got for you in this video, guys. I just wanted to share my views and thoughts on these projects with you because uh, they're holding up very strong. And, um, you know, I'm not worried at all with these projects, okay, guys? So, you know, ultimately, um, I see more upside for these projects. So, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, tick the little bell for notifications. Like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.